I think one memorable thing that would really make us make our day would be when customers come back to tell us that our food is, is um, good. It really gives us that drive to carry on with this even further. Small things like that really helps make our day. So, uh, my name is Raphael, I'm uh, 28 this year and my partner is Gladwin, uh, 28 as well. We both are co-owners of um, Prawn and Me and um, we actually didn't start out with uh, Prawn and Me. We did uh, plum and rice previously for about two and a half years. Then we decided to do a change and switched over to Prawn and Me. So Gladwin and I were classmates at a Culinary Institute of America with SIT. Being a hawker was not the very first choice that I had back when I was still in school. Back then I was thinking about doing things like um, restaurants, going for like Michelin star, trying to buff up the resume and things like that. Thereafter came the time where Gladwin and myself were in the US for our internship. Even when we were there, meals that we wanted to cook for ourselves to eat were very familiar favourites for us. Um, very homely, very traditional things. Coming back to Singapore, it's like you see the hawker industry starting to fade out slowly bit by bit and we don't want to see that happening in, uh, for our future. We wanted to do something to preserve this. Um, I think it's a very childhood thing for us, that we, what we grew up with, um, the ambience, the atmosphere, the people around us. Something very unpretentious, very common to, for everybody in Singapore, as Singaporeans, so yeah, that's what we decided to go for. What makes our prawn noodles slightly different would be that we incorporate certain techniques that we have picked up uh, through our culinary training in school. We add a bit of uh, mirepoix to the soup base. We uh, help to give a little bit of natural sweetness from the vegetables. Instead of adding just pure sugar, we actually utilize a more natural form of sweetness for our, our food. I guess a typical day for us would begin around um, 5.30 to 6 like that. Then after it's uh, morning prep, preparing the soup and we open around 8.30. We sell out about 2 o'clock and thereafter it's a more of preparation again and clean up. We end our day here is about 6 to 7 p.m. Um, later it depends on how much we need to prepare. <laughs> Good and bad about working in a hawker centre. No aircon. <laughs> It's a pretty challenging environment to work with. Uh, I think a big part would be uh, space. <laughs> a, store, a hawker store is actually really, really small. For ours in particular, it's a lot of uh, space constraints with regards to like, how we can store things and how many dishes we can even cook. I would say the really good things that I love working here is that the people here, very warm, very friendly people that we have. I guess there's no, no facade to anybody. We all come, we don't know who anybody is, what their background is, but everybody would just come, be themselves, um, and that's what we really love. My parents were not resistant to me being a hawker, but they were more concerned about why we made this decision. After hearing what we have explained, then yeah, they're more or less very supportive of, of us. Some advice that we would be able to give in our humble experience would be don't wait till it's too late. There's too many things that will always hold you back, so don't, don't just keep pondering over every, every decision that you make. Sometimes uh, take the leap of faith. <laughs>